Hi, I'm Janita Barrett with Gluten-Free, Dairy-Free Living. And today I'm going to cook a Cajun dish from our family's cookbook. But first, before I do that, I've got to make cream of mushroom soup. When you're dairy-free, you can't just go buy a can of cream of mushroom soup. So I've tried about three different recipes, and I came up with one that I liked the most. Though I've changed it just a little bit to make it more concentrated. So I'm going to start by putting some olive oil in a pot on medium high heat. About a tablespoon. I'm just going to eyeball it. Alright, to that I'm going to add a half of a large onion chopped and about a half of a pound of chopped mushrooms. Now this is um, a little bit more than half of a pound, but I think that's okay. I didn't use quite all of it, but a good bit of it. And I'd already taken out a, a half of a cup because I'm gonna use it in the next recipe I'm gonna do. So, instead of, say, eight ounces, I probably used about nine or 10. Now this is gonna need to cook for about 10 minutes to let these um, onions and the mushrooms cook down and get soft. So I'll be back in just a minute. Oh well, about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and you see how far it's cooked down. It's really a lot lower than it was when we started. So to this, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of crushed garlic clove, which is about one, one gar garlic clove. Easy for me to say, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna mix that in. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of sea salt, a half a teaspoon of white wine vinegar, a fourth a teaspoon of thyme. Take it off the heat because it's I want it to burn. All right, and about a fourth a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And I know about how much a fourth a teaspoon is in the palm of my hand, so I just crack it in the palm of my hand and look at it. Another one of those eyeball things. There we go. Now, I'm gonna let this cook for just about a minute, not very long. And to this, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of arrowroot. Mix this together and then we'll add our almond milk. Two cups of almond milk. And this should thicken up pretty quickly. Okay, so we're gonna bring this to a boil and let it cook for about three or four minutes or so. Then we'll have our cream of mushroom soup. So I'm just running a spoon across the bottom to scrape up any bits that stuck to the bottom. It's a yummy part. Okay, and now we have cream of mushroom soup. And I had to add one more teaspoon of arrowroot get the thick thickness I wanted to have. 
So three tablespoons of air root instead of two. Let's have a taste to make sure it's ready to go. Is it very thick? Pretty good for no dairy cream and mushroom soup. Mm. Use it in all your casseroles. They call for cream mushroom soup. You know, green bean casserole? It would be great to use it in that. Anything that calls for cream mushroom soup. Good alternative here.